One unique feature of the Express over other disc uh, or rigid disc cultivators, if you wish, is the ability to vary the angle of the discs. This we achieve uh, because each of the disc assemblies and the bearing assemblers are mounted individually on a stalk, mounted in a, a bearing housing, and this arm assembly connected with a rack can then be moved left or right and conversely adjust the angle of the, the disc. And in doing so, we can then influence the amount of soil that's moved. This enables us to move all of the ground but to a very, very shallow horizon. Um, where we're looking at, at, at minimal disturbance, but the ability to create a fine seed bed. So we can angle the discs to suit the conditions and match the, the gang angling front to rear. Each gang is adjustable by these two handles and we can set the angle of the angle of approach. So in a very coarse, um, perhaps a high trash situation, perhaps behind, after, behind grain maize, um, we would perhaps set the discs very passive, almost straight, so that they, they create a chopping action. Whereas in these sort of conditions as we've got here, where we're looking at inverting as much as we can, we would put more of an angle on the disc and run it a bit shallower, but maximum inversion would be undertaken. As far as uh, protection for the disc assembly is concerned, there are two versions available. This version has a shear bolt, which is fitted here, and a mounting bolt, which is fitted here. This is designed to shear to protect the bearing and the disc assembly from rock or stone or stump uh, damage. Um, and the spring-loaded version is available now where a leaf spring moves forward and replaces this stem assembly and the bearing is mounted on the bottom of the spring. That allows us somewhere in the region of about 130 millimetres travel over any obstacle. With any minimum tillage system, we're looking at maximum inversion and maximum consolidation consolidation not compaction and consolidation is achieved with the use of the Simba patented Simba DD roller and I'll come to the details of the roller in a second but the adjustment of the machine regarding uh, depth is achieved very very simply on this pin and bracket arrangement uh, vernier arrangement whereby we can have a coarse setting of a range of holes we just merely remove the pin move the stop or we can reverse the stop and that will give us a fine setting. So very, very easy and simple to adjust. And obviously we're adjusting the depth of the machine here, not the depth of the roller. The mounted express is fitted with what is uh, known as the DD light. And in this example, Simba have developed a lightweight version of the, of the very uh, well-proven DD ring concept. And it really is just a lighter version of the, um, the 700 millimeter standard um, express ring. It is slightly narrower, um, each dish assembly is made of thinner material and conversely it's a lot lot lighter. And for light soil conditions it is fitted with a rubber packer which sits between each um, ring assembly and also a scraper assembly to keep that clean. So again, patented well proven assembly but a lighter version than the standard DD roller. But as you can see will achieve the same level of consolidation and the corrugation effect that uh, enables the machine to be used where soil conservation is perhaps um, a key consideration. In addition to the Mounted Express, I um, just want to give you a run through of the, uh, the EPS5 Kruman Asher Cedar unit. Um, very, very simple pneumatic. Um, cedar unit which can be mounted on a, numerous machines, power harrows, cultivators, rollers and in this case we've mounted it on the Express for very very easy application of brassica crops, um, swedes, um, grass, small seeds basically that can be broadcast um, very very easily, very very cheaply into a consolidated seedbed. The cedar unit um, is a very very simple pneumatic distribution system um, consisting of a metering roller assembly, agitator, hopper and fan to provide uh, the seed transport medium. The fan assembly here is a, a twin electric fan arrangement which is driven from the tractor um, by a standard 7 pin plug. The, uh, the tractor kit comes complete with it and that merely is used to um, generate an airstream to carry the seed to the back of the machine. We've got a 
gauge here, which indicates to the, the operator exactly where the uh, metering system is set. And with this machine, we can alter the seed rate from the cab by virtue of this actuator, which will alter the machine on the move, and we can preset or up and down the rate uh, from the cab, which is a fairly advanced feature for a pretty basic um, CDU. The uh, metering system and agitator are driven via a flexible cable drive, which is taken from a metering wheel mounted at the edge of the machine. As I say, it may be, it may be a power hour, it may be a cultivator. Um, on this uh, express, we mounted it just behind the front, uh, front disc, and that drive is taken through to a small gearbox, which in turn then drives the agitator via the actuator which I've just mentioned. Seed uh, is then delivered via a set of hoses down to a distributor plate, which is mounted on a bar on the rear of the machine. Now the bar can obviously be mounted uh, ahead of the roller um, for optimum incorporation within the soil and consolidation by this roller, or it can be added after the roller for subsequent harrowing um, or rolling later on. The metering wheel is uh, lifted out of work for transport and a chain hooked up. Thus, to say a very, very simple cable arrangement and also a handle here which is used for calibrating the unit. In conclusion, the Simba Express, um, mounted Express in this case, in combination with the uh, Krumanash EPS5 seed box offered us the ability to offer a very very cost-effective method of establishment of um, green feed, pasture, um, small seeds basically in a fodder crop uh, environment and incorporate it into a minimum tillage system. We've got the ability um, to utilize 100, 120 horse tractors um, with a very compact machine but a very, very durable machine and a lightweight, simple cedar system, which is obviously because of its pneumatic delivery nature, capable of working on steep inclines and alleviating all the problems associated with traditional full width seed boxes. So all in all, a very, very simple machine, um, easy to use, easy to set up, and certainly worthy of consideration in many sit uh, situations where normally a, a traditional drilling system may be considered but with the ability to utilise minimal tillage to retain moisture, alleviate soil, um, wind erosion, um, and to provide an environment where we're incorporating more trash 